In the last video, we discussed the torsional vibrations of a two degree of freedom system, where we took an example of a marine engine propeller, which had, uh, which could be modeled as a two degree of freedom system. That is, it has two rotors, which is which has mass moment of inertia of I one and I two, and angular displacements theta one and theta two, and the uh, torsional stiffness kt1 and kt2 connected through the shaft so given in this problem is i1 is equal to i i is the mass moment of inertia i2 is equal to 2i kt1 is equal to kt2 is equal to kt so we need to find the natural frequencies of this uh, system and also the uh, amplitudes so we know that torsional stiffness is given by the formula t divided by theta where t t is the torque so torque is equal to kt into theta so instead of writing mx double dot is equal to minus k into x we can write this as i into theta double dot minus kt into theta for a torsional system so when we draw the free body diagram and write the equations we get on the first equation as i1 into theta 1 double dot is equal to minus kt into uh, theta 1 minus kt2 into theta 1 minus theta 2 this is very similar to uh, how we wrote for spring mass system m1 x1 double dot is equal to minus k1 x1 minus uh, k2 into x1 minus x2 it is very similar to that so we can write this as i1 is i i1 is i and theta 1 double dot is equal to minus kt into theta 1 minus kt into theta 1 minus theta 2 because kt kt1 is equal to kt2 is equal to kt is given in the uh, numerical so for the second equation it would be i2 theta 2 double dot is equal to minus kt 2 into theta 2 minus theta 1 so this can be written as 2i into theta 2 double dot is equal to minus kt into theta 2 minus theta 1 this is 2i because here it is i2 is equal to 2i that is given in the numerical so once we get this this can be written as i theta 1 double dot plus 2kt theta 1 minus kt theta 2 is equal to 0 and 2 i 2 i theta 2 double dot plus kt theta 2 minus kt theta 1 is equal to 0 so after this we uh, assumed in a spring mass system as the solution to be x is equal to a sin uh, omega t here uh, we take it as theta is equal to uh, capital theta which is written like this capital theta sin omega t instead of x is equal to a sin omega t it is small theta is equal to capital theta my capital theta into sin omega t so when we substitute that into the equations that we got we get minus omega square i theta 1 minus omega square i this is capital theta sin omega t plus 2kt capital theta 1 sin omega t 
माइनस के टी कैपिटल थीटा टू साइन ओमेगा टी इक्वल टू जीरो द अदर इक्वेशन वुड बी माइनस टू ओमेगा स्क्वायर आई कैपिटल थीटा टू साइन ओमेगा टी प्लस के टी कैपिटल थीटा टू साइन ओमेगा टी माइनस के टी कैपिटल थीटा वन साइन ओमेगा टी इक्वल टू जीरो सो सिंस साइन ओमेगा टी के नॉट बी इक्वल टू जीरो सो द रेस्ट ऑफ द टर्म्स गोज टू जीरो एंड वी कैन राइट इट इन द मैट्रिक्स फॉर्म टू के टी माइनस ओमेगा स्क्वायर आई माइनस के टी माइनस के टी के टी माइनस टू ओमेगा स्क्वायर आई मल्टीप्लाइड बाय कैपिटल थीटा वन एंड कैपिटल थीटा टू इक्वल टू जीरो सो दिस इज ऑफ द फॉर्म um determinant of a minus lambda i equal to 0 this this matrix this whole matrix is a minus lambda i this how do you get we have already discussed uh, in the previous problems where we took out this minus omega square outside and multiplied again by this uh, capital theta 1 and capital theta 2 so uh, you get ax is equal to lambda x form and you take the determinant a minus lambda i equal to 0 to get a non trivial solution so i'll skip those uh, steps which is for the understanding of the concept since we already know the concept i'll skip those steps so we can write this as uh, determinant of a minus lambda i equal to 0 that is 2kt minus omega square i माइनस के टी माइनस के टी के टी माइनस टू ओमेगा स्क्वायर आई द डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ दिस शुड बी इक्वल टू जीरो सो वी नो दैट ओमेगा स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू लैमडा सो वेर एवर ओमेगा स्क्वायर इज देर पुट लैमडा ओवर देर सो यू गेट वेन यू टेक द डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ दिस इट इज टू के टी माइनस lambda i multiplied by kt minus 2 lambda i minus kt square is equal to 0 so the determinant a minus lambda i is equal to 0 so when you uh, solve this equation using the quadratic equation formula that is minus b plus or minus root uh, b square minus 4ac by uh, 2a what you get is so you get lambda is equal to 5 plus or minus root 17 by 4i multiplied by kt and omega will be Uh, the root of this it is 5 plus or minus root 17 by 4i multiplied by kt so this so this is omega so omega 1 is uh, the smaller one so that is 5 minus root 17 by 4i into kt and the omega 2 will be 5 plus root 17 by 4i into kt so from this you can once you have find out the 
natural frequencies you can find the amplitudes so in order to uh, do that you need to substitute this value of omega in the uh, matrix so it would be 2kt minus phi minus I'll take the uh, first natural frequency that is phi minus root 17 by 4i into kt this is omega square and this is i minus kt minus kt kt minus 2 into phi minus root 17 by 4i kt into i so this is multiplied by capital capital theta 1 and capital theta 2 equal to 0 so when you solve this you get 2kt minus phi minus root 17 by 4i multiplied by kt into i into capital theta 1 is equal to kt into capital theta 2 so if we put capital theta 1 is equal to 1 we get capital theta 2 as 2 minus phi minus root 17 by 4 this is because kt 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 gets cancelled i here i and i gets cancelled so this is the first mode shape similarly when you put the uh, second natural frequency that is um, 5 plus root 17 root of uh, 5 plus root 17 by 4i into kt so what you get is so the second mode shape so this is capital theta capital theta 1 if it is 1 then you get capital theta 2 as 2 minus 5 plus root 17 by 4 so this is second mode ship so this is second mode ship this is first mode ship So this is how you find the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors that is the natural frequencies and the amplitudes for the uh, two degrees of freedom in a torsional vibration system. Thank you.